Thank you Kidamani for that story. Moving on, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops has hit out at the government over the increasing cost of living in the country. The clerics have warned that if unchecked, the cost of living threatens to tear down the social fabric of the nation and propagate despondency in the population. While speaking at a press conference in Nakuru, Bishop Anthony Muheria of the Nyeri Diocese says the arbitrary increase of prices of basic commodities and taxes has pushed Kenyans to the brink and has criticized the government for being out of tune with the reality of the common monarchy. Chabet Kering tells us more. The Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops has called on President William Ruto to reduce the cost of living, among other emerging issues presently plaguing the country. Reiterating many times our great concern about the rising cost of living, we continue to witness the rise of cost of fuel, the cost of basic commodities, and added demands from the care of the family in school fees and health care. We are particularly concerned that the people who are affected most by this situation are those in lower income bracket, and especially the poor and the, 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 and the miserable. This has created an added suffering the bishops, in a press conference held on Friday, spoke a day after the president gave his first State of the Nation address in Parliament. The clergymen decried the state of the economy and the high cost of living as the most pressing issues that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration should be devoted to solving. To the people of already strained by recent COVID-19 pandemic and drought effects, the high cost of living has deeply affected the shaken and social fabric of Kenyan society. It is especially strain, uh, strangling the very poor in their modest needs. Families are under immense stress. The men of the cloth called on the President Ruto led regime to make a commitment to Kenyans on the way forward to ease their economic burden. Corruption in our society both within the systems of leadership and among Kenyans has been the most devastating sickness we continue to suffer from. Unfortunately, we don't seem resolved enough to truly and comprehensively rid ourselves of this great monster. The bishops did not shy away from addressing other issues like overtaxation, unemployment, and what they termed as the dignity of every Kenyan. We have appealed to the government on several occasions to reconsider the issue of overtaxation of the Kenyans, and especially to incomes of those in the lower income bracket. This one factor has greatly affected the family income in a disproportionate way, leading to anger among Kenyans. We appeal yet again to the government to find reasonable balance between the desired income for the government and the minimum protection of the basic needs of the very ordinary Kenyan and respect to their dignity. The loopholes in the education system that they said need the government's immediate action. The state of education in Kenya is a cause for concern. One of the critical issues aggravating this situation is the discoordinated and abrupt changes of policies and directives in the entire system, all in specific areas of education. The most recent is the government's change in providing university subsidies, specifically through loans, such as the Higher Education Loans Board, HELB, these changes have created barriers for economically disadvantaged students, hindering their ability to access higher education. They also called on the administration to rein in on the Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, 
which due to its current taxation policies, the clergyman stated, is forcing businesses to close and lay off employees due to an increased burden. There seems to be a lack of sensitivity in the way the business persons and individuals are being harassed by the KRA officials in view of collecting more taxes. This has also affected people's morale and sense of hope in a better future. The bishops further lauded the ongoing bipartisan talks, terming them as a crucial initiative aimed at addressing the deep-rooted issues of Kenyans. However, they sought to be included in future discussions in matters of national importance. We applaud all parties concerned for having heeded to the plea of Kenyans religious leaders and many other people of goodwill to come together and seek an amicable solution of their differences through dialogue in the ongoing bipartisan talks. This has given our country a lease of life and renewed hope for peaceful coexistence. Moreover, we believe that the spirit of dialogue can bring about greater progress in political, social stability and common purpose.